नमस्कार बच्चों इन द लास्ट क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट द मैथड टू सॉल्व क्वालिटी इक्वेशन विच वॉज विच वॉज कंप्लीट इन द स्क्वायर मैथड इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस क्वालिटी इक्वेशन Let me take an example. Two x square minus seven x plus three is equal to zero. As we know that in the method, the step number first is to divide that equation by two. If we divide that equation by two. the term would become x square minus 7 by 2 into x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0 now in the step number 2 we have to just half the coefficient of x if we half it it would be 7 by Four and square it. After squaring, this coefficient would be seven by four whole square. And then. Add the last term, that is seven by four whole square, into both sides. Our equation will turn into x square minus seven by two x. Plus seven by four whole square is equal to seven by four whole square minus three by two. As we know, in the left hand side, we have to just make a perfect square by arranging all the terms the first term is this and the next term is 2 into 7 by 4 into x in this step there is a difference in 7 by 2 in the last step or in the last equation the coefficient of x was 7 by 2 but in this equation the coefficient will turn into 7 by 4 it is because we multiplied it by 2 and divided by 2 plus 7 by 4 whole square now as we know that in right hand side we have to just take lcm the lcm of both the terms is 16 why it is 16 because the term 7 by 4 whole square is 49 by 16 minus if we divide that 16 by 2 the quotient is 8 and 8 into 3 is 24 now the left hand side of this equation is a perfect square which is x minus a square minus 2 ab plus b square It will be equal to a minus b whole square. A is this, 
and B is 7 by 4 whole square is equal to 49 minus 24 is 25. 25 by 16. Now the step number third is take square root and after taking square root the left hand side is x minus 7 by 4 is equal to plus minus 5 by 4. Why 5 by 4? Because the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 16 is 4. Now in this equation, the right hand side is contained two signs, first is plus and next is minus. That me that means we have to just consider both the signs plus and minus. First of all by taking plus. By taking plus sign the left hand side is x minus 7 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4. As we all know that our objective was to just find the values of x. If we transfer this term into right side, this will be 5 by 4 plus 7 by 4. It will be equal to the LCM is 4. This is 5 plus 7 the value of x would be equal to 12 by 4 equal to 3. That means the first value of x is 3. Now we can find the second value by taking minus. By taking minus sign, the left hand side was x minus 7 and the right hand side should contain the negative sign. x minus 7 by 4 is equal to minus 5 by 4. the value of x will be equal to 7 by 4 minus 5 by 4. If we take LCM, the numerator would become 7 minus 5 and the value of x is 2 by 4 which we can write 1 by 2 also. That means the first value of x is 3 and the second value of quality equation is 1, 1 by 2. Sorry. This is the method to solve quadratic equation by completing the square method. Now, one more example I am going to discuss with you is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 
zero. This is the example we discussed in the last method, which was by the factorization method. Now we are just going to check that whether the solution of this equation by both the methods are same or not. First of all, we have to just divide that equation by the coefficient of x square, which is in this equation 1. If we divide this equation by 1, there is no changes into this equation and this will remain same. Now, we have to just half the coefficient of x which is minus 5 after halving the term would be minus 5 by 2 and if we square that term this will turn into 25 by 4. we have to just add that 25 by 4 into both the sides x square minus 5x plus 25 by 4 is equal to 25 by 4 minus 6 in the left hand side a perfect square is obtained which was x minus 5 by 2 whole square in this question in place of 5 by 2 whole square I am writing 25 by 4 but the meaning of both the term is same after taking square root the left hand side would become x minus 5 by 2 and the right side of this equation would be 1 by 2 since the solution of 25 minus 24 is 1 and the square root of 4 is 2 now again we have to take plus sign by taking the sign plus x minus 5 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 and the value of x would be 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to 6 by 2 and 6 by 2 is 3. And by taking minus sign the term x minus 5 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and x minus 5 by 2 sorry the value of x would be equal to 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 after the solving this right hand side The solution is 4 by 2 which will be equal to 2. That means the values of x are 3 and 2.
we can see in the last method which was factorization method the solution was same as 3 and 2 this is the second method to solve quadratic equation in next class we'll discuss about the quadratic formula thank you